Hello everybody and welcome back to Cryofall. Large display case. Hopefully we'll get a couple of trophies to put in there. Large four lamp and advanced oil pump. I, I say, man, like this game would have me completely sold if they had some type of automation like in Factorio. I would be all about that kind of life. Okay. Oh, so I've been talking to this guy on um, the channel. He's been leaving some comments and he's let me know that the campfire and sticks are a much better way to go for, well, I don't even have any sticks on me, uh, but campfires and sticks are a much better way to go to get ash, right? The sticks are really easy to get. We have, what, 391 sticks. Um, he's also said that you can throw wood. See, look at that. If I throw wood in here, I can hit make charcoal. And what it's going to do is it's going to burn this one log and it's going to make charcoal uh, from that log there, right? How much charcoal do we get? Uh, let's say five. Yeah, five. Cool. Cool. I like that. So I'll, I'll do some more of that just to get some charcoal because I think that's the only limiting reagent that we need right now for um, more gunpowder. Because we're down to 12 shots, so. Let's see here. Um, I don't have the paper on me, but I feel like I put the paper somewhere. There's the paper. And then I'm gonna need the KNOH. Do all that. Just bring it over here right quick. Let me look at this. Do I have any more? Yeah, eight more charcoal. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot of charcoal out of this. I'm trying to figure out like what would be the good a good ratio. Like every time one of these burns, how many, how many, uh, how many outs do we get for one input? You know what I mean? So if one of these, I think we're at three. I think one of these logs has made three. This will be four. It looks like, it looks like it's going to be six. It looks like it's going to be six. Cause this will be five. And then I'll have enough to go for six, right? So we just need to add one more and we should have, well, let's see. Yeah, it's a six to one ratio. Okay, it's a six to one ratio. So for every one of these logs we burn, we can turn six into charcoal. And it looks like we're getting four, so it's like 48. So that's not bad. Okay, what's the next step? Is it the weapon? It is. And then Mac, ooh, eight. Look at that. Look at all the gunpowder we have now. To make this shot, I need to have my thread. Put the thread in my pocket. Probably gonna need to make more thread, which is fiber. So probably go ahead and make some more. Put the fiber in my pocket. And I guess like half. Come over here to the weapons. Click on that. Look at that. Four. Four more shot. So 32, 52, 72, and 92. Wow. I think that's as much as we're ever going to need. Because I really do think that we're going to move into tier two offense. And I think we're going to be able to get the revolver. And the revolver doesn't use all that nonsense. Right? So I think this 92 is, is going to do, do us plenty. Right? Oops. We were, we were, I guess, one or two off. I guess we were one or two off. Yeah, and that should be the last one. All right. Put that up there and get ready to make some more glass. But yeah, the fellow online has been, he's been absolutely, uh, you know, uh, great. He's been very patient with me. He's explained a lot of the stuff, which is exactly the type of individual you want you know, taking you through a game like this. Um, I want to put my... There we go. Give me something to drink. Oh, 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 those are all empty. Wow, excuse me. Come up here and throw those in there. <laughs> okay. So, we need to visit Tropical. And my friend, too, said to collect all of these oil pods that we can. Harvest in 20 minutes, harvest in 51 minutes. 
He said to collect as many of those as we can is because we're going to need it for something down the line. And the game appears to give you a, like, a little bit of a jump start, right? So like it'll it'll give you oil from a from a from a source like that until you can work your way into like mining oil out of the ground, right? Um, I tell you what, let's take a moment here. Let's look at tier one and let's see if we're missing anything. Hmm. I don't feel like we're not missing anything in farming. We're not missing anything in offense. Defense, we're missing the next le level of armor, but that's not the that's not the most needed thing. Um, we have this herbal concoction that's supposed to help us heal, but we haven't used it yet. Um, anti mutation medicine that might be good to have, and then the cooking, I think we're good. So maybe it, it would be worth our while to make one of those and make maybe one more of those. Uh, industry. Um, I don't really see us needing to have that stuff. We're good here. We had to do all that. And then construction. Yeah, I feel like we're really, we're strong on the construction too, right? So really what we're kind of looking at now is tier two. Um, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, nitrocellulose powder, nitrocellulose powder. Interesting. Fire log and rubber. A natural rubber. I like, ooh, you know what? I kind oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. We I, I told myself I was like, I really want to do electricity. And for electricity to have the steam generator, you have to have wire. And then to have wire, you had to have what was it? Medicine? No, I think I just did medicine because I wanted the bandages. Um we need to have that rubber. So we need to be working on how to get that rubber. So we need to find natural rubber. You know what, we probably just need to go ahead and build the chemistry lab. And we're kind of running out of room. I guess I'll throw the chemistry lab inside what I thought would be the freezer. Or, you know, I could just disassemble that. I want to disassemble it. Yeah, I thought we were going to need... I thought we were going to need a room to keep cold, right? Like a freezer. But apparently the freezer, if, if you look close at that, it's like it has like a lid on top. So we really don't need that, which is fantastic. So now I can save room. In fact, can I just, can I relocate that? Not really. Uh, toolbox, does that allow me to relocate? It does, cool. Let's just put that right there. Put that right there, and that over there, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this area to build the, um, the chemistry laboratory and oh i can do that no problem i just want to need a lot more wooden planks and all the iron and uh, copper have i'm gonna go out here and chop down some trees just so i know i have those planks but i'm pretty sure i'm okay i think i had like 100 logs i looked a second ago yeah i have 100 logs let me just go ahead yeah can i do this by tens i can let's just do half our complement into the logs why not while it's doing that, we'll, we'll chop. And when we get done crafting, we'll be done chopping. We'll just set our, our it's, like a, it's like a stopwatch. Oh, there's a boar over there. So I'm gonna go shoot that boar because I have 92 rounds to use up. It has a limit, has a range. It would be nice if there was a, a reticle indicator for your range. So what do I mean by that? Like it would be nice when you when you shoot it, it kind of shows you that you're out of bullets when it turns red and it and it turns the the aiming retinal like 45 degrees. But it would also be cool if you were out of range for it to show like a little bitty baby X inside the red reticle. So you'd be like, oh, okay, I can't even, I'm not in range yet. But then again, I know there's like a, a learning aspect to it and all that. So chemical laboratory. I kind of feel like you don't really need to have access to them, but I am going to do it like that because, you know, I, I have this feeling. And what do I mean by access? Like, I don't feel like you have to 100% be standing in front of it to make it work. I think you said to be able to reach it, right? But I'm going to put it like that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to interact with it. I want to look and see, like right off the bat, 
Oh, we do have natural rubber. I've seen that. And we have sulfur. We have a little bit of natural rubber and sulfur. Um, how does one boil down that fat? There you go. I think it requires two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. If you hang, if you hover over it, it'll tell you what the ratio is. So you don't have to, you don't have to guess. Well, it doesn't tell you the ratio with logs, but it will tell you the input output. That's cool. But it, it would be nice if you could hover over something over here and it would tell you like the input output. Uh, can I go ahead and cook that too? Yes. Oh no, I can't because I'm going to lose the meat when I make the, uh, when I make this, the camp oil. Uh, it would be nice if I could roast that, but you can't, you can only roast it over a fire, unfortunately. So we just kind of have lost that. World event, native life forms of this world seem to be migrating. We had that event last time we played, so it's cool to see it again, but it would also be neat to see something new. Let me go grab that uh, rubber. And my sulfur. I have 250 sulfur? Wow. I am absolutely 100% okay on sulfur for a long time time there's the natural rubber cool so please make me as many um make me as many i, I don't know just rubber <laughs> i mean we get we just one Ooh, that no bueno no bueno so how does one natural rubber known as latex resin extracted from the rubber tree can be Changed chemically into vulcanized rubber. Okay. Oh, and now we can do. We have sulfur in that, so we can make some acid. Well, I might as well make an acid. Why not? Never, never hurts to have a bottle of acid in your pocket. Oh, there's K and O. That's so cool. K and O will, will make a. Oh, you have to have sulfuric acid to make one uh, K and O or nitric acid. That's funny. Let's go ahead and do that then. And then the fire log at that paper. I wonder what the fire log is used for. I'll grab some paper. I'll make one or two of those. And then I'll go out and cha. And grab some more of that. And drink that. Why not? Go back here. Oh, didn't bring the KNOH over. Grab the KNOH. I've only got nine of that, so I need to be a little careful here. But it's nice to have one. We'll make one of those two. Just to have it. And then what is this? Oh, yeah, that's the powder. That's the nitro cellulose powder. That's flux powder. Our sand and potassium nitrate. Okay. Well, let me go put all this stuff back up. Put that up here. Put the paper back. Put that back. Um, go ahead and put that up here. Empty bottle I'm going to take out there and put in the deal. You get Zed here. Try to clean this up a little bit. I need another storage box is what i need oh it's already oh nice i'll have to put that up that up that up that up that up um go ahead and put that up those get put away that needs to be put away i don't know what i want to do with the raw meat i just don't have a don't have an answer for that right now go ahead and put that in there don't need to drink again i, I can cook that uh i can cook that mushroom I'll tell you that right now Gonna waste another log to cook a mushroom. Oh, really? Okay, great. There's no. Yeah, so this is like the cooking stove, which sucks because I would think that the cooking stove can have all the basic cooking stuff that the fire has, but apparently, I, I, me and the developers differ in that regard. They think that it should not. They are wrong. All right. And this only does jerky. All right. Did I have something there? No, no, no. Okay, so I have a couple of rubber now, and I'd like to make this wire. Where does one make that wire? I didn't get a new workbench, so perhaps it's over here in this workbench. It is. So let me go grab my rubber and uh, some more copper bars, so copper bars and my rubber. Come over here and I'll make some uh, make some wire. There we go. Survival level five. Look at that, I got 10 wire out of that. That's good. The rubber is a bottleneck, but that's fine. So I'll put that back. And I used all the rubber, but now I have that. So where's my steam engine? 
steam engine oh yes of course of course electricity steam engine i have uh don't have enough i'm so i need to have 30. dang it i can put the blueprint down but i can't i gotta figure out where i can i can find more rubber at that is, that is on the docket for today. Find more rubber. And probably level up. How much does that cost? 50? I mean, 800? Research it. Yes. Oh, I have that. Yep. Revolver. Then the Luger. And then a submachine gun. Is that a double barrel shoddy? Nice. That's great. So, yeah. And that's going to be at the weapons table, I bet, right? Yeah, there's that pistol. Oh, nice! Okay, we're going to go out there and we're going to hunt and we're going to try to find uh, rubber trees. So we're going to be looking for rubber trees and hunting. Where's our map at? We're leaving at night, which is probably not ideal, but we're going to go south, southeast, and we're going to look and see what south, southeast has to offer. We have an herbal remedy. We have a fuel or a light source. Uh, we're carrying a bunch of crap on us that probably we don't need to carry with us because they're important and we shouldn't lose them. And I got a flint lock with 87 rounds. So I'm going to go out there and murder as much stuff as I can, get rid of these 87 rounds, and then come back and build the revolver. Ah, missed. Oop. Bleed out, you piece of junk. Oh, he got me. He got me. I wonder what a rubber tree looks like. Is rubber tree those things? Got some animal fat off that, thank goodness. Got some bones. I wonder if I can repair these or if I'm going to have to make a new one. I wonder if I'm going to have to repair them or make a new one. What was that? Oh, it's just wood. Yeah, I'm not really quite sure where I'm going to get, like, legit wood at. Don't know where I'm going to just find... Or, I'm, I'm sorry, not legit wood. Rubber. Not 100%. Oh, a turtle. Hello, buddy. You have a lot of fat on you for some reason. I would not have thought turtle is a very fatty animal. But who knows? I do know that turtles base their uh, I I like they process based on how warm they are, right? So if it's cold outside, they don't process as often as they 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 should. They process like 15 frames a second. So if you've ever went up to like a like a turtle or a snake and like you you put your hand up to it and it, it doesn't do anything crazy, but a couple of moments later it starts to freak out, that's because your hand like appeared from nowhere. Right? Like, it just doesn't process. You know, it's got like a frame rate. This frame rate is super low if it's cold. People also put their pet turtles in the refrigerator to simulate uh, hibernation. So, like, during the winter months, they'll their turtle in the refrigerator and just hang out there for a couple of months. They'll put like a like put it in a shoebox with a bunch of newspaper on top of it, let it, let it just hang out and do its thing. Then they'll wake it up in the spring. There was one guy on Reddit who uh, put his turtle in a box, put it in the refrigerator, and then like to wake it up, he gave it like a nice warm bath and everything. So that was a that was a pampered pet. Double tap, bro. Be good. Should have shot the turtle. Oh my goodness. You got jumped by a hog. Hey, fun fact, I, I get to go hog hunting in real life very soon. There's a place I went to a retreat. I think I told this story, I'll tell it again. I went on a retreat and the place I went to had turkeys everywhere. So I told the guy, I was like, let me take those turkeys come, uh, come uh, spring. And he was like, well, you gotta take the hogs we're having trouble with now and then I'll let you have the turkeys. I was like, cool, no problem. And uh, a buddy of mine went and set up some corn and a little picture like a trail cam and there are a ton a ton of hogs at this location i think he counted like 10 or something there's supposed to be 30 but 10 is still pretty big i don't know what you call uh, like a herd of hogs a mess a mess of hogs don't know 
but uh, he he has them all on tape. So we were sitting there kind of like figuring out who we were going to pop first and second and third. Of course, that's going to all change come the night of, but you know, just one of those things. Wow. And the whole street's coming to help that guy out. And my, uh, my knife is almost broken here. Okay. Just because I don't have a knife. Oh, I can use the axe. I forgot. The crabs are insanely strong. <laughs> Go ahead and reload the weapon. And 55. All right. Well, it looks like to the south we have a gigant. Oh, of course we do. It's the ocean dummy. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'll I'll meet back up to where I was before. What is that? Oh. Now that's freaking nice. That's just that's just that's just top drawer right there, folks. You just zoom that bad boy out. Love that. I'm not gonna mess with the crab unless he mess with me. I'm not gonna mess with the well, you know, I always say you do what you say. Be a simple man. Yeah. I mean, I love this, but it, I feel like there's so little interaction with that mechanic. It kind of breaks my heart. Like our lumber we built up, our surviving we built up, our our weapons we just did. You know, I just feel like there's so little that we like we can do to interact with that that it's it's almost not fun. Like you see it pop up and you're happy, but there's just there should be an interaction with it. There ought to be something that you can do. Uh oh. This is like the superhero crab of the beach. You don't mess with my people, he seems to say with his crab-like posture. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're good. Yeah, I need to figure out if I can repair... Oh my god! I need to figure out if I can repair stuff or not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this. How do I, can I just drink? Oh, that's right, you hit the alt. And just kind of see what kind of what happens here. For four seconds, we can't use any more medicine. Its intensity is ticking away, and we're we're healing up pretty good. So yeah, not bad. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. So I think it just it it bolsters our natural healing rate. Is that what it kind of looks like it does? That's cool. That's not bad. Uh, I don't really like how the animals come and protect each other, but I guess like on this planet they do. The only bad thing is that this planet looks exactly like Earth. I'm not quite sure the, you know, because they have turtles and they have they have they have wolves and such. So I'm not quite sure I like this whole like one for all, all for one musketeer mentality they got on this planet but you know what else uh cool so we have a nice picture about where it is we live now oh wow it only took one to kill a snail who would have thought everybody who's ever met a snail and sulfur we have in spades so yeah this is iron we'll take some iron but we're definitely going to bypass the sulfur for a little bitty baby bit. I'll come up this way. I'll run up on top of the mountain. I got time. I'm not going to go in there. Well, maybe I'll go in there. There was a gigantic lizard in there one time when we went in and it kind of freaked me out. What? Hello? What are you? What are you? A little, just a little flavor there on the ground. Just a little, little, just a little flavor. All you are. Red herb. Super important. Is that a green herb? Nope, that's just plant fiber. Another red herb here. What if this was like what plant versus zombies could have been? Like the second one? Like what if it could have been like something you had to like run out and grab things and craft stuff and come back to the house and like whatever you collected that day is is what you could use. So if you're like, oh I found some twigs and I found a uh, some fiber and a rock, you know, like you had to make something out of it, and then that night the uh, zombies would come. That'd be neat. 
Okie dokie, down to 32. That's not too bad. Um, I'll go ahead and do the, the revolver. And then the next time I set out on an adventure, I'll try to go someplace. Ooh, F. Forest. What? What the crap is that? Oh! Oh, so that only happens at like certain places. I thought it happened everywhere. I see, I see. Well, yeah, let's go make the revolver. Let's go up there and let's see what we can uh, we do. Uh, who was it that was making our charcoal? Is it this guy? I think so. You got some charcoal, though. We need a lot of black powder. We could just go ahead and turn on the forges. Just get whatever whatever's happening there. Just get it going. You know what I mean? Same thing here. Just go ahead and turn on the forges. Get that in there. Oh, it's going to need some... There we go. That's it. Do we have coal? We have charcoal. Lovely. Go over here and put everything up that we got. Put everything up that we got. 19 animal fat. Let's come down here and let's turn that into uh, camp fuel. Take the camp fuel we have there. Take the ash and that. Da -da -da. Is that rot? It is. Let's go over here and put up Put up that. Oh, I like how I like how if you add meat, it brings it up. Like it, it, it does like an average. Are we hungry? We are. I'll go ahead and eat the roasted meat. Go ahead and eat the jerky. And that's not cooked yet. What about this? Is that? Yeah. Go ahead and eat those. Uh, put that mushroom up. And then I think this plant is in the other one. Oopsie doodle. Yep. So put those up. Oh, that's a that's a sapling. I when I saw that I was like, man, that looks really weird. Like I just didn't know. I mean, I did know what it was. I knew I knew it was a sapling, but I didn't recognize it. Um, let's go put that stuff up for right now. The bones I'm gonna hold on to because apparently you need the bones for glue. Ah, oh, I got carrot seeds somehow. No way. No way. Here, drink all that. Um, this thing, take some mulch with me, throw the rot in there. Come and get my watering can. Oh, I put the bones up here, by the way. Okay, well, that's fine. Put that down here. And then that, put it right there. So we have potatoes, potatoes. Oh, we have ready for harvest tomatoes. Blamo. Oh, and it's going to keep making tomatoes. That's amazing. Put our carrots down there. That's not, not watered. There we go. That's now watered. And then, perfect. Now let's go over here and see if we can make another tomato plant. Can we? We certainly can. Craft a tomato plant, please. And thank you. Or not a plant, but a tomato seed. Put that down. Click on that. Now it's watered, and now it is mulched. Perfect. Over here, drink our fill. All right. Put all that up. Great. And then the bones, I guess we'll leave it out here, although there was a place inside that I made the bones. And I have a tomato. Not exactly sure what to do with it. Probably go put it in the refrigerator. What's going on here? Whatever. Yeah, whatever's next. Whatever's next. Start making whatever's next. Charcoal, doesn't matter to me. Raw glass, doesn't matter. Just don't stop the furnaces. Keep them going. I need charcoal. need ash. I'm going to make so much friggin' glass. I'm probably gonna, never going to use all of it. Uh, let's put the tomato up in here. What are you doing down here? What are you making? Okay, that's right. Give me those. Put it up here. Do that. And then I'll go outside. Why am I going outside? Ah, yes. Put that up there. Drink again. Okay, and then in here, 
Ah, uh, yes. Let's go ahead and take that and that. And go to the weapons. And, okay, now hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go ahead and spend the money and get the Luger, if we have it. And then the SMG and the sniper rifle, or the hunting rifle, the bolt action. Oh, we need rubber for that. And we need rubber for that. Whoops, shouldn't have used my rubber so much. We'll go ahead and buy the Luger, though. How, do, how does one, what does one need to make the Luger? We already have it. 12 and 10? Wow, that's many. Okay. Go ahead and make the Luger. It'll take forever to make the Luger. And then these, we're going to need tons of black powder. To make black powder, we're going to need our sulfur and our KNOH. And we're going to need all the charcoal we can get. Over here, sulfur, KNOH. Oh, we don't have that much KNOH. We're going to have to go snag it from the mountain. That up there. All right, let's go get some KNOH while all this stuff is cooking up. Um, let's make one of the. Let's make. I think we can make one. I think we can make one black power. Nope, we don't have enough KNOH. Okay. Let me just double check. Nope, not in there. And we can have that black powder. I don't think that's still going to be enough though to make one of the cartridges. It's really not. Okay. Let's go to the mountain and let's grab some KNOH. And then we'll get the pistol going and then we'll try to get there to that world event. It's going to take us that much time just to walk all the way up there. This game is a fairly large game, which is good. Not a bad thing, but I don't think we're going to be able to make it. Um, That's sulfur. That is iron. That's just rock. I believe this is the KNOH. It is. Perfect. So we're just kind of going to go for that KNOH right now. And we need to make another one of those remedies that we that we used. Right, that remedy. And we use that just because I wanted to know how it went. And I'm very happy, very pleased with how it's a, it's a heal over time, which is natural. It's what it's what makes this game more believable, right? Is that the heals aren't just magical and they happen instantaneously. Surely when we get to the higher level stuff. They'll be like med packs, and it'll it'll say something like this med pack injects chemicals into the body that blah blah blah, and that that would be okay for it to be instantly, or you know to be over like two seconds for two hundred points. But that natural remedy, like healing for, it, I mean it healed a pretty big a pretty big chunk, but it still was not like an insane amount. But you know we're just we're just we're just drinking leaves pretty much, so I'm okay with that. Right. I think that's every single one of the KNOH rocks up here on the hill. So, just going to take that right back. And I don't need to make a lot of rounds for the Luger. I don't need to make a million, but I wanna, I'm going to try to make. I want I want at least thirty. Thirty, I think, would be a good number. So let's max. It. Oh, two. <laughs> we can make two more. Uh, is that going to give me forty? There's 20, yeah, I'm going to get 40. That's not bad. That's kind of what I wanted. And it holds 8. He's holding it weird, though. Uh, we're going to be using this just to get rid of all these shots, and then when we're done with that, we'll, we'll click over to the to the Luger. All this stuff is kind of breaking a little bit. Let's try to get that... Um, let's try to get the, uh, the Herbal Remedy. So, oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that we we're going to need a, a more of those. Well, there's some right out there. We'll go out here and snag some of that right quick. And thankfully, we have those mushrooms in the refrigerator, and I need to stop eating the mushrooms because apparently they're used to, uh, to heal us. So, uh, just take one of those. Yep, just one of those. And then the mushroom. I don't know which one it is. I think it's that one. I'm going to take both. It's not going to be a big deal. And then, oh, I do need to. Okay. Just gonna have to take that and do two. Then run right back up here and make the remedy. Perfect. Grab right that. And we'll wait for it to pop up in our bag. That right there. And I'll go put the mushrooms back before I leave. And the water bulb. Why not? 
The only thing I'll say is that for the crafting, like it it really should know what's in your 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 crafting crates. Like that should be an upgrade in, in like later on is that the game knows what's in your crafting crates so you don't have to manually move stuff over. Like the game would just be like, I know that he has, you know, X, Y, and Z inside his crafting stuff. No reason even bring that along. We'll be fine. The hunting tools. That can stay back and that can stay back. Cool. Alright, let's go. We'll go up here to the... What is this? What did I kill? Oh, I ate that for the first time? Nice. Ah! Dang it. I got stung by a... Stung by. I got bit by a snake. Stung by. So, you know, it's it's funny. I, I work with a bunch of Catholics, and uh, today I saw one of the fathers, and I was like, Father, what is the church's official stance on snakes? Because, you know, some things in the Bible they say are poetic, not literal, right? So when, when someone maybe tries to take a pretty extreme view on something in the Bible, then they, they kind of go back to that, like, well, you know, it's, maybe it's poetic, or maybe it's situational or it's the old way of doing something right so i was just kind of wondering like if 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 they had like this modern take on like oh snakes are you know the garden of eden the snake was a symbol for sin it was a symbol of deceit um it's not literal snakes are just snakes like there's nothing about them that's inherently evil it's just kind of what they are so i asked the father and i was like yeah How's the church feel about snakes? And he was like, every snake you see, you need to smash it to bits. Okay, so that thing does get damaged by our our bullet. But it just didn't get damaged when we saw it that one night and got we got scared. Owie. Oh, he radioactively bit us. That's not good. See that? We have oh we broken armor too. Broken arrow. Oh, he's running away. At least he doesn't, like, regenerate his health super fast. There are some games that do that. Where if you try to kite them away from where they spawn, they'll, um, they'll regenerate their health super fast just to discourage you from doing that. Uh, so let's see what this guy did to us. He broke our... Yeah, he broke our equipment, and he gave us toxins. So that sucks. And we only have three minutes before we have to get up there. These aren't going anywhere. Yeah, I killed one of those for the first time. There's a purple one. I really want to get more of the green ones. And I want to get more of these, um... More of the mushrooms. Ah! I got stuck behind a tree. I really don't want to be out here at night. But there are a lot of mushrooms around here. Oop, another snake. You know, I I grew up I I grew up, I grew up in a family where snakes were not tolerated. We didn't want people having snakes as pets. We didn't want like we didn't even want people to do the whole like that's a a brown snake and it's it's non venomous. In fact, it eats you know other snakes it's a good snake to have around like we didn't even we didn't believe in that it was like no they they should just be all dead that's fine so I, I don't know how i feel about it oh and by the way like the father like when i was like oh okay well you seem pretty like keyed in on this like you have a like you know what you you expect and he was like oh well you know the church doesn't require you to to do that like the you can you can do whatever you want but as far as he was concerned and perhaps most of the clergy in general snakes are persona non grata <laughs> to say the least all right let's look up here i think i think we're going to get up there just in time for it not to make a difference because we've been we've been distracted oh is that is that no that's stone i was gonna say that's like natural uh natural rubber i still think it's funny that there's chickens in the game you should be able to capture the chicken and then have, make it lay eggs for you you should be able to build a chicken coop as part of farming. My humble opinion. Grab that. 
I just can't stop picking things up. It's only 46 seconds. We're nowhere near the great circle. Although we have come pretty far north in our ranging this time, which is good. I mean, we need to get away from home and see more things. Ah. Only got eight more shots with this, and then I can retire it. Looking forward to doing that. Looking forward to having uh, doing the Luger. The things have been pre pretty good to us. I usually don't like uh, I usually don't like pistols. I'm a I'm a rifle man myself. Super like shotgun, shotguns and rifles. But I like this pistol. Okay, the events of ah. All right, well, the event's over. We tried to get north to see it, but just didn't have a... Uh, just got distracted. Too much stuff. Too much stuff to do. Too much stuff to collect. Like that. What kind of junk are we going to get? Ooh, we got plastic. We got plastic. We've never seen plastic before. We just found it in a junk pile on the side of the road. On the side of the road. Might go up into the hills right above here and try to get some more KNO. I bet I've been calling it KNOH. If I went back and looked at the video, I'm pretty. Ooh, hello. I wonder why I had two things. I wonder why I didn't automatically pick them up. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Let's see if we can get the same thing to happen over here. There's two things in it. Nope, just one. Let me go ahead and take that and put that last round in there. I'm sorry, next to last round. Ooh. I think there's a way up right here. Perfect. And I think there's another way up right here. Perfect. Let's see if we can get some K and OH. There it is. Da, 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 da. If you if you could repair your tools, surely there would be something. Surely there would be something. Oh, that, that's just durability is crap. Uh, da, 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 da. This game would probably be insanely uh, aggravating to play multiplayer because people would grief you and stuff. Oh no. Holy crap. I think just eight. Oh, he runs away to save his life. I get it. He's not running away to like reset his spawn. He's trying to survive. Cool. Same thing with that thing. Nice. Gonna drink my health pot. What is that called? A crawler for the first time. Killed a crawler for the first time. Nice. Okay. We're uncovering a little bit of the map. We're uncovering a little bit of the map as we go home. And a chicken, some mushrooms. Chicken and mushroom, hey! You guys go very well together. I'll tell you this story. I told my sister just this evening. I went to the store, right? And uh, we were at this retreat. I don't really know what we were doing there, but I guess, um, I don't know. Uh, but we were at this retreat and they fed us and they fed us this, this uh, macaroni salad, right? And the macaroni salad um, had these big old tomatoes in there, big old chunks of tomato, um, macaroni, and then it had mozzarella, uh, these little mozzarella balls. And typically I don't, I don't go in for that. Oh, we've used all of our shots already. 
This thing shoots damages. Look at that. Damage is almost halfway. This thing's damage. Ugh. Nine millimeter versus whatever the the diameter of that is. Armor piercing. So more, but they do less damage. Anyway, I just don't do mozzarella. Oh. It's just not my bag. Ah. Uh, but I, I ate it because I was, you know, on retreat. And there was a bunch of other people there and they were watching me. So I decided to just go ahead and eat it and be part of the gang. And it was very, very tasty. Very tasty. I, I absolutely hate that I had waited so long in my life before I tried mozzarella balls. Cold mozzarella balls. So when I went to the store, the grocery store, a couple of days later, um, you know, they had a sign up. And the sign was like, mozzarella balls on sale. Um, you know, yadi. Oh, no. So our item broke. And it says it's gone forever. So it leads me to believe that it can be repaired if they're going to tell you that it's gone forever because it broke. It's almost like it was saying, like, hey, you could have mended it, but you didn't, so now it's gone. That's kind of what I get from that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can't do it, but that's just kind of what I get. Oh, it's 404, so the sun is rising. Lovely. We have seven more minutes until the tomatoes come out. I feel like once those tomatoes are out, like once you get it going, like you're going to get tomato after tomato after tomato. Like I feel like it's just a thing. Oop, that needs to be watered and that needs to be watered. Does it have... Yep. Okay, let me grab the watering can. So anyway, I bought the mozzarella. And uh, I brought it home and I, I also brought breadcrumbs. And I was going to make uh, mozzarella balls, right? Um, I was going to make mozzarella balls. And, you know, like mozzarella sticks, like mozzarella sticks, you know? But I didn't I didn't put them in the yolk. Um, I didn't put them in, I didn't put them in uh, egg yolk. So when I, when, I, when I put them in the air fryer, not the deep fryer, when I put it into the air fryer, they just melted. And they melted into this gigantic pot of just mozzarella and breadcrumbs. And the breadcrumbs, you know, like they were, uh, they were cooked. They were crispy crunchity. So, um, yeah, I just ate a bowl full of mozzarella cheese. Raw insect meat. Ew. No, thank you. And we're going to make another herbal medicine too. So go ahead and put that up here. Oopsie doodle. Just like that. And where's all my wood? Where's all my wood? Put my KNOH up. Oop, I got some more tomato seeds. Got plastic. I don't know what I'm going to do with the plastic. I guess it goes there. But where did I? There's my wood. Come down here to this. That. So it'll make me some, some of that. Go up here, throw that in there, turn that on again. Up here, do that. Put that up there. I don't need any more raw glass. Thank you, though. For that. What do I need to make? What time is it? 48? Yeah. Almost time. We're almost done here. We need, we need more of those water things. There's some right here, luckily. Gather those. I mean, we get three. Perfect. And uh, I think I'm good on the tomato plants for right now. So max that out, which is two. Great. That's going to get rid of that one thing that was in my inventory. Go ahead and just drink that. And the medicine. Yep, there's one. Yep, put that there. Okay. Lovely. I can't believe that that didn't get put up. These right here, there, there's a place for those. There they go. And that needs to go out here in the compost pile. Because that's just trash. And yeah. Mushrooms, we can go put those in the refrigerator. We had a nice little outing. Didn't really uh, do too much. Didn't really see too much, unfortunately. Beneath that. Didn't really go too, where, too much farther out there. Didn't really do too much. Uh, I got the Luger, though. Luger is fun. Luger burns through ammunition like crazy, though. I kind of 
don't want to retire my flintlock pistol because it does more damage than this does. And that's just, you're just throwing away resources. Every time you pull the trigger on that, you should just think in your head that you're, you're shooting money and resources and time at the animal. So whatever you're going to get out of it, you know, hopefully it's going to be better, you know, than what you're shooting at it. All right. Anyway, let's go and look at these recipes here. The branded armor, it's an armorer's workbench. That's it right there. For the branded armor, it's going to be fur, thread, and glue. What do I need to make glue? I think it's tallow or something. Bones. Bones, sulfur, and water. So let's go get our sulfur. We're going to need that eventually. We're going to need that. Probably that to make more rope. Need sulfur. Let's go find our bones, and we're going to need water, so I'll bring the water with me. Bones. I think we put bones down here somewhere, too. I think we there was two places we put in for bones. Yep, there's bones. A lot of sugar. I hate that there's not, a, there's not more to do with sugar. And my glasses. I lost some glasses because I, I, I made the... Uh, uh, acid. I need to get some raw glass back in my pocket and get those. I think it was three. Okay, I just took every single bit of glass I had. I did not want to do that. Let's just do six. Come over here. Let's make some glue. Make five glue max. Why not? That's what I got going. Run out here right quick to this. Jugs in there, get some more water just in case I need it. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Okay, let's go to the armor's bench here. I now have I need thread. I need thread. There's the thread that I have. Oh no, the thread comes from Plant fiber. I just didn't I didn't make it a point to pick up. I'm just gonna go ahead and do max. Just turn it all into thread. There we go. Craft that. Then the helmet. I need rope. Rope comes from same thing? Yes, same thing. So maybe stop doing that. Okay, nope. Nope. I have tons of thread now. Let's go get some plant fiber. Uh I need to find if there's a recipe to get more plant fiber, so I'm not having to run out here and find it on the ground. I bet you there is. Come on, plastic. Yeah, another plastic. Perfect. Oh. Grab those. Those are apparently going to be movie importante soon. And again, if developers, if you're listening... Put a little, put a little ticker over here that lets me know how many of these fibers I have in total. Don't just tell me how many I've picked up. Every time I pick up a bundle, go ahead and do like open parentheses, like 17. So I'm like, okay, I'm now at 17 fiber. Like I know how many I have because I can just see it tick away over there. That would be a great, a great help. Mark. Okay, let me just check how many is that. 79. Eh, not bad. I think I want to do 200. If I can do that. I'm surprised that that snake didn't attack me. I remember there was a game called EverQuest. And in EverQuest... The, it, it did not matter what your level was. You could be level 20 million and you could have... You literally could have the skin of a deity. You know, like you could have beaten a deity in combat and like taken his personal armor. But like all the... the like the level 1 or the level 2 mobs would still attack you. Like it just did not matter. You could go into like... I forget the name of the newbie zone, which is so funny because I, I thought I would never forget anything about that game, but I couldn't even tell you the name of a newbie zone like right now. 
I keep thinking of Sullus Grove, but I don't think that Sullus Grove was not a newbie zone. I think that's where you fought a dragon. I'm pretty sure that's where uh, Lady Vox or ne Nefarian, or I don't know his name. Nox, I think. Vox and Nox. I think that was the male and female dragon name. One was like ice and one was fire. And then the hat. Perfect. I had the armor. I could have put that on. Oh, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I feel like that's like the, the armor that everybody has, though. Like, I feel like that's the Mark I armor. <laughs> oh, he looks like a dummy. He looks like a dummy. How do you do the lamp? You just have to have the lamp and some, some yeah, we'll do that. So now we're going to glue our lamp that we had, our lantern, we're going to glue it to the top of our helmet. Yeah, I'm not kidding. We're going to use glue. That's funny. That's funny. Here it comes. 90. Perfect. Now, how do you turn it on? Right? You just hit L or something for light. We have we have enough of the... Oh, no, we don't. We put it up. I think there's some over here. I'll grab some. There we go. Perfect. Got all that. Open this up. Hit Z. Clean it up. We're going to go throw all this glass back. We don't need all that glass. Don't need that. Don't need that. More space. Don't need that. Don't need that right now. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll I'll clean this up off camera, and I'll come back with something more exciting. But there we go. We have a little pistol here. We're out of ammunition for it. We're probably gonna need to go work on uh, getting more ammunition, more black powder. So that's what we will do in the next episode. More ammunition, more black powder. Make sure we got the Luger ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah, fun game. I still love it. Uh, I need to eat a lot. I'm pretty. I'm pretty hungry. I might have to make another fireplace in the middle here and like cook up all this meat how much does it make take to do a fireplace not a fireplace but a um, campfire sticks and stones sticks stones perfect I'll go over here and just grab all this meat you don't get a lot of nutrient from the meat, but this is better than nothing. There we go. Put all that meat up there and just do fire charred meat. Okay, there we go. So we got that going. Uh, thank you so much for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, thank you so much for the feedback and the support that you leave in the comment section. Um, this video has gotten like 16 views, I think, which is, you know... It's one of my most viewed, or I'm sorry, the part one in this series has 16 views, which is one of the most viewed uh, videos we have on the channel. Uh, my daughter, actually, when she did Minecraft on the channel, she has more views than I do, but she's very charismatic, so I understand that. But anyway, have a great day, folks. Hope you come back, and thank you again for the comments and the support. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.